Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the JJRC X7. This is virtually just arrived 10-15 minutes ago in the post. I thought I'd get the video up for you today um, so I can get it put up on live on YouTube. So, this is a brushless camera drone. Uh, what I really like about it is it's actually got well, they've actually put some effort into trying to get rid of some kind of jello here by putting this on a soft mount. It's also adjustable from the um, controller, not just the app, so you can adjust your camera from there. It's quite small, it's a lot smaller than I thought. It's quite a bit smaller than, say, the Bugs 2, but it really is a nicely finished off drone. So, it has a 2S LiPo in the back. You can see this is a 2S LiPo, it is proprietary, and I think this is 20... I think it's a high volt 2. Yes, yeah, a high volt 2, 2500 I believe. They reckon this has got 25 minutes flight time. Mm, quite dubious on that, but we'll see, you never know, do you? So, this is your charger that comes with it. So this charger plugs in to your battery here. and then this plugs in to a USB and they're the charging indicators so it's quite a nice little charger actually obviously it just sits down flat but it's quite nice, it's different and this is obviously what's giving it, making sure that it's putting the correct voltage in because when it's a higher volt obviously it needs to charge to a higher level the controller is got rechargeable batteries built into it, you can see it charges from there fake antennas, I'm guessing they're fake, I'd be shocked if they're not in fact they're definitely fake and then you've got two gimbals take off and land, photo and video, long press of video short press of photo, the mode button which I'll show you in a minute and return to home it is a nice control, it feels nice in your hand, the six feel quite nice actually, quite a bit of spring in them and then your phone holder clips in the top which I'll show you in a minute but yeah I'm very happy with this it looks a really nice control it feels nice probably feels better than I thought it was going to feel now I have ordered the X9 which should arrive probably just after Christmas now so the X9 in case you've not seen it it looks like a spark but it has actually got a two axis gimbal built into it it's a rebrand of the Seafly Dream but the camera is apparently better but it's a lot less money this comes with the same controller so it's nice that the controller feels quite nice. This is your holder for your phone. It simply plugs into the back here. You have to put your antennas up actually to get them to go in. This just plugs into the back here. And there you go. And your phone just fits in here. So let's boot it up and connect it up to the app. So, battery in the back. Single power on, hold your button in yeah it's got crazy AC tune I have no idea why it does that long press your button in for your controller and you'll know you're bound when you've got the green flash at the back I've got green flash because I haven't got a GPS lock but let me show you the camera control here so there is a wheel on the controller here if you can see that there and if you can see the camera, it's very, very smooth. Incredibly smooth, actually. That is impressive. Now, I don't for one minute think this is going to be the best camera in the world. It does point fully down, as you can see. You're still going to get loads of shake and stuff in this, but at least they've made an effort to try and get the best kind of stability they can out of it. So, let me just get to the app, and then I can show you what various things do. So... As it's pretty standard affair, go to your Wi Fi. I think this is just classed as drone, connect it up to that, and then the app you need is Enjoy Fly. So, let me just see if that's connected. There you go. The latency is not bad at all. So, hope you can see it. Sorry about that, I couldn't see that. As you can see, that is the app. 
you can see it's pitch black outside so we've got artificial lighting in here totally there's no light at all but as you can see it's um and the Christmas jumper so as you can see it's smooth and let me just show you the dial the gimbal moving up and down with the dial so you can see how it looks like it's quite smooth isn't it there's not a uh, sometimes these are horrible and just jerk up and down but it doesn't do that so this is your mode switch at the top of the screen I don't know if you see position if I hold that button in it's going to change it to altitude when I'm in altitude mode, I can take off now with no GPS. So, down and in. And there you go. Now, the beauty of this for me is, I've got this in mode 1, but you can change it. You can go whatever mode you want. By holding the camera button in, pulling the joystick you want to control your throttle, and turning the power on swapped it over to that mode. So I've got mine on mode 1 as you can see. So you've got auto take off and land camera. But as you can see, it's a really nice image. So, got a USB cable plug here. That's for doing firmware updates that may come in the future. But also, I believe that if you connect that up, you can pull the info from the SD card. So it takes a micro SD card inside. It's got a 1080p 5 megapixel camera it is on 5G this so I'm using an iPhone but you need to be aware that it is a 5G and not a 2.4 um, camera that's on this so you will need a 5G capable phone for it propellers are very 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 soft and very flexible they simply go on and lock into your push onto your motors and then they have actually got screws on the top so they're not self-tightening props which is quite strange these days to see non-self-tightening props but it doesn't bother me in the slightest so my overall impressions are the fit and finish is really nice the quad's finished off it's got a shiny gloss you can see how well that looks the motors feel smooth, it feels smooth when you rev it up. It's got little rubber feet underneath for landing on. You've got your LEDs. Now that's flashing blue because I'm in altitude mode. I believe if I take that out, put it into position mode, it's now going to flash like that because now it's looking for a GPS lock, which unfortunately in here is never going to get. So let's just quickly look at the app. So you've got your it's typical affair here, you've got the bottom height, depth, vertical speed, horizontal speed, your camera settings, your SD card settings up above, your battery percentage for your craft, the amount of satellites you've got, and here you've got orbit mode and track mode. You can see that? Obviously this is not going to include flight footage, this video, but in the next video I'll, rough, I'll run you through the app properly and show you some flight footage and then I'll do another video at some point with the orbit and the track set up. If you click on this here you can fly this by your phone and these are the general settings for that so you can change this to right and left hand and this is how you calibrate your driver and you calibrate your compass from here. If you see it's got pair here, you don't need to bother about that at all, I've had a go that, it doesn't do anything. So, my overall impressions. I think it's for the £102. Might have even been a bit less. I can't remember, to be honest. Well, I think it was around that kind of price. Now, this to me is a direct competitor for a Bugs 5W. Similar size to the 5W. And there's a lot of things that are very similar. You can adjust the camera on the 5W. But I'm hoping the camera is better on this one. Or at least comparable with that. I do like this controller and like I say I've already got the X9 on order so the X9 is very much like it looks like a Spark very similar flying characteristics to a Spark I believe but obviously I think it was £140 so the massive price difference let's see how good it is when it comes so let's not get carried away but I have seen a video that looks alright it's obviously not going to have the same quality as Spark but these cheaper drones at the minute seem to be coming out all over the place. 
So, so far so good. I'll have a flight footage coming up, but now it's probably going to have to be after Christmas because the videos you're going to see up to Christmas and just after I've already pre-recorded. There's certainly no time to do that now and I'm having a break for a few days with my little boy. It's obviously Christmas, it's a great time for him and I want to play with him, so I won't be making any more videos over the next few days, so the, it will be after Christmas. Also coming up after Christmas I've got the X9 that I've already mentioned. I have the E511S GPS Eosheen drone coming up. I think I put a trailer for it on my channel ages ago. I've got that to review. And I've also got the, at last, the <laughs> SJRC F11 to review. So you've probably seen some reviews on the Z5 about, well I've got the F11 which is the bushless version. Again, that's going to be after Christmas unfortunately because of there's no time at the minute to do any of them. So they're all coming up with loads of other stuff. I had the Femi A3 drone on order that was supposed to be shipped out. Banggood have messed me about so I've cancelled my order. I'll wait now and probably get it later next year at some point. But to be fair, I'd rather now have with the announcement of the A8, the Femi A8, which I did a quick review on the um, quick overview on the other day on a video. That's what I'm probably going to get first, and then we'll take it from there. So loads of good things coming up. Have a fantastic Christmas, and. Get some flying done.